Ladies and gents, welcome to keepeasy.com, the growing, you know, business lifestyle platform. And yeah, we're at the JSE in Santon at the launch of Startup Caps, right? And then we're here with the host, and then, yeah, she just did a, a, a panel discussion, and she's going to tell us more about why we are here. First of all, please introduce yourself and tell us what you do. My name is Tanya Habimana, and I am the presenter for Startup Caps. And I'm also the anchor for Closing Bell. Both of these shows are on CNBC Africa. So I guess in a nutshell, I like to do business reporting. Mm. Oh, you're a business reporter. Yes. You're all about business, you know. All about the money. All about the money. So tell us about Startup Caps. You know, that's such an interesting uh, concept. First of all, like, the word startup has been, like, buzzing, trending in, 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 in business over the past couple of years. So it's interesting that you, there's a TV show about it. So please explain to us for those that don't know. So when, when we came up with the concept of Startup Caps, what we noticed is that there's, like you say, there's a lot of trends, a lot of buzz around the word startup. Mm. So we know about the innovations. We know about mm. the founders. We don't know a lot about the money that's going into these companies to make mm. them grow. Mm. And what happens to that money? Because for an investor, they put money in a startup and they mm. hope to do an exit, which is when you take, you sell your shares and you, you make your return. Yeah. But we don't know what happens. Mm. And so as a business reporter, what we wanted to do is kind of unveil that mm. and look at what money has gone into startups, which sectors, who's made money, who's lost money, because there is also money being lost. Yeah. Why, what, when, and where? You know, talking about money, I saw, you know, I read actually an article that um, Africa uh, actually didn't receive a lot of uh, money last year uh, startups who actually struggled to raise funding last year in Africa do you know about that and what could be the reason for that yeah, so we talked about it on the show as well as on the panel today just globally there has been less venture capital investment because of um, economic shocks um, the world's economies are struggling, if you mm. put it quite bluntly. We went from a period of COVID-19 where the world literally shut down, mm. then to the Ukraine-Russia war, going on into um, some of the big, let's call them economic superpowers, the US, Europe, having inflation um, that is hitting 10, 40 year highs. Mm. And all of this is putting pressure on economies. Mm. And because it's putting pressure on economies, it's pulling money away from risk, what we call risk assets, mm. risky areas. And they're going into more safer investments like your bonds, your government bonds, your yeah, fixed yeah. income. They, you know, if, if you have, let's say, if you have a hundred million US dollars to invest and the economy is up in flames, do you put it in risky startups in Africa or are you going to put it in the dollar uh, that you know? Yeah. So that's kind of what we've been dealing with. And also, startups is uh, affiliated with tech. Uh, can you be a startup even though you're not a tech company? Uh, I would leave that to the expert, but my, let's say, layman's explanation of it is mm. the definition of a startup is basically a company that has not yet defined their business model. So it has an element of tech in there because they are still prototyping, they're learning product market fit, they are refining their business model as they grow. Mm. Yo, okay, finally, let's get into the show now. What type of guests are we looking into and, you know, how does a viewer benefit in tuning in to the show? Okay, I love this question. We have such an array of guests. We've literally got investors that have flown in from all over the world. We've had uh, Proparco, which is a very big investment fund from France that have come on the show as well. We've got investment houses coming through from Nigeria, from Ghana, from um, Kenya, as well as the US. And then of course, we've also spoken to the founders because we want to know what the market is like. And we've got founders that are founders of companies that have gone on to have unicorn status, which are billion dollar company valuations, all the way through to founders that are early stage founders that have maybe a valuation of 100,000 US dollars. Um, ultimately, with this show, what we're trying to showcase is that Africa has potential and we want to find out where. Lastly, I'm going to put you on the spot. If I have a startup and I want money, what's the first thing? How, what do I do? I would say watch the show and find <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, no, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to add? No, it's great. Thank you so much for coming through. Yeah. Really appreciate your platform. Wish you all the best and your viewers. And uh, yeah, may we continue to see African entrepreneurs, African startups thrive on the continent. Thank you so much. And with that, we out.